moksha liberation. Those who want to get spiritual liberation from the thraldom of matter in which you are today living, bound by the physical, mental, and intellectual demands and the enjambments of the world of OET, we are, we are living in that bound by matter. One who wants to get liberated and go beyond the BMI and get the full freedom of the reality truth. Those who are thus living the spiritual life through contemplation, realizing or wanting to realize the truth, all such people, Taditya Anabhisanghaya, Anabhisanghaya without attachment, without uh, aiming at, without expecting, Bhalam result, Yajna Tapakriyaha, Yajna tapa and such other activities all are undertaken without any anxiety for the results. They do it because it must be done. By not doing, I'll be unhappy. Those who are doing it. Moksha Kangshibi, those who want to awaken to the higher spiritual nature. Whenever they do all these actions, Taditya Sanghaya, Taditya, they repeat Tad. That means that. What is that? Om. What is Om? The Supreme Reality. So Om, Tad, Sad, all the three words are indicating the same reality. Sad Bhav, Sad Sobhav. Sat is always used in, the, in your vernacular itself. Sat means goodness, in the sense of goodness, in the sense of reality. That is why Sat Purushas, noble people who have reached the great reality. So, Sad, 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 the word sad means both the good which is useful for yourself and the members of the community. Also it means the reality. And also, O Partha, Prasaste Karma Nidatha. Therefore, in all karmas, whatever action that you are doing, whether you are eating or you are doing a yajna, a great ritual, or doing tapas, or doing giving dana, in all activities, Satsabda Partha Yujjade is indeed right that you repeat the word Sadha. Om Tat Sad, all the three words are used. Or even sometimes only one word is used. In all of them the idea is, lift your mind, Lift yourself beyond the traces of ego and egocentric desires. Attune yourself to the Lord and remembering Him, act on the world outside. Then you are in a sattvic. And I was in a high school. The dream master was very anxious about me. Because it is only on one day of the week I have got this drill. And you stand you know, right hand, left hand, you know, and then uh, hand up, hand down, hand up. You know, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. So that every day, every Wednesday afternoon I have got stomachache, I go home. <laughs> he watched me. And I was very thin, very emaciated. Feel. So one day the man could not any longer contain, therefore he came to my father and explained to the father, look, look at only one son. What is the use? He has no health at all. He may pass an examination and all that, maybe, but what is the use? M may be, except pass, okay, but no health at all. Health must be developed. And the father also thought, yes, his health must be done. Um, drill master sahab, how, how to improve his health? Simple. Let him every day early morning, six o'clock, come to my gymnasium. <laughs> and 
different daddy order six o'clock every day you must go there no you can't say no yes sir not only that he ordered he ordered the servants also to wake me up at the right time and so they come and sit on my head and i can't do anything got up and i generally go there every day i go there gymnasium and come back after 2 3 months the this professor teacher met me are you going regularly to gymnasium every day sir at what time early morning 6 o'clock sir how long do you be there about 45 minutes sometimes one hour how is that you are not improving what do you eat so i gave the list of what i am eating <laughs> you are eating well what is wrong with you he was confused two three days he asked me third day he asked me after going there what do you do i pull a chair and sit down <laughs> and i watch others doing it on the front of the mirror in front of the mirror they do it you know they do it and all that i just watch and i come away after one hour now by going to gymnasium i will not improve my health unless i get involved in the exercises you and i are in the spiritual world we go into the temple hall the ashram into yagnashalas <laughs> into what is it krishnalaya and after coming here the food is not all right i don't know like <laughs> hot water is not hot and no? bathroom is not all right no? <clears throat> and then you say that you now spiritually i was not improved <laughs> see you must live every and get involved in it even a week or two is more than sufficient you can feel the refreshing change that takes place in you or else you may continue doing sadhana but remember all these are asad asad non existent they have no value they are neutral they are empty they are pitiless they can produce nothing out of it therefore om tat sat is the is the nirdesh meaning remember him you become satya whenever you forget him the late lord you become identified with the ego when you are identified with the ego agitation start and you are in rajasi and once you have identified it desires are right identified the desires confusion confounded and there become tamasic so tamas and rajas must be eliminated by constantly remembering him 